I knew I had a really fast race car, but I was real disappointed at the end of the race we had a bad pit stop. Well, lo and behold, I leave the pits. I'm like, I keyed the button. I said, well, I have Nernhardt. He's back here with me. When the green flag dropped on that last restart at Talladega, I passed Earnhardt. I remember passing through turns one and two. Somehow he got by me, and I got to Dale's rear bumper. I unattached a couple times, but I pushed him hard. I mean, really hard. There we were, C parted, and then it was on. Here comes Earnhardt. How did he get through all these cars? I don't understand how he did that. Mr. Restrictor Blake knows there are two left to go. And he took that old, that old paw of his, and he, had, he was wearing white gloves. You see him boasting. He's motioning the 55 car of Kenny Wallace to give me a bump. And he does this to me, and I'm like, okay, you know, the best to do this with. Come on, Kenny, give me a shot. And Bernard is going for the lead. Once we set sail, at the same time, I look in my mirror, and I'm like, I got to run. I think I can pull out past Dale. And to this day, you know, that's that little twitch. Should I pull out past him? And the only reason I didn't, because I didn't think the car behind me would go with me, and I could slap myself a day later, or an hour later, because come to find out it was my own teammate. But my own teammate had a special paint scheme. I was used to the blue and white Oakwood Homes, and at that time, Joe Nemechek had like a Charlie Daniels, Jack Daniels, some type of a different paint scheme. I didn't recognize the car. Kenny Wallace is in second spot, followed by his teammate, Joe Nemechek. Or at that moment, I would have tried to pass, and I didn't, and I finished second. And there, that big fist off the one to earn up, pulls up and says, thank you, Kenny Wallace. I don't think we could have got back up there if it wasn't for Kenny. Hey, uh, me and Nemechek won earn all that race. I think he owes us half of that no bull money. And Earnhardt did put me in a bear hug and he says, what do you need? What can I do for you? And I said, you don't owe me nothing. I said, you gave me the first start of my NASCAR career. And with that old grin, he looked at me and goes, I'm glad you remembered that. And uh, you know, that was it. That was the moment. That's Earnhardt's legacy. He represents the working man. Don't never give up. We're starting last. We got 10 to go. We might as well try. We were down and out, but he never gave up. And he inspired me. I said, hell, since you ain't giving up, I ain't giving up either. That was Vintage Earnhardt.